Welcome to Train Sim World, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the engineer's seat. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. A heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. This train is ready to go. Pull the indicated handle towards you to get moving. for 24 miles from Grand Central Terminal and ferries commuters north through the iconic neighborhood of Harlem to the commercial hub of White Plains, Westchester. Train Sim World allows you to ride and drive from a selection of camera views. Let's take a look now while it's... explored a small area here. So let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to the Harlem Line, in one of the most famous cities in the world, New York. Here you can experience a bustling corridor in the heart of Manhattan. Ferry commuters in and out of the iconic Grand Central Terminal. Hurry them across the tightly packed Park Avenue, over the Harlem River, and out to the New York suburbs. Along the way, be sure to place route maps, put up posters, replace the fire extinguishers, and clean up the recycling. 
operate classic and modern equipment through the city that never sleeps. This is TrainSim World, Harlem Line, Grand Central Terminal to North White Plains. Welcome to Tuckahoe. Today you will be taken through the operation of an M3A in Metro North Railroad livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the engineer's position. This the master key is used to activate the control desk. The reverser determines the direction of travel. This unit has a combined throttle brake handle called a master controller, which needs to be set before beginning the startup procedure. In order to release the brakes, the brake pipe must be fully charged. You can only do this when the master controller is in the max brake position. Lights are important to let others know. We will now need to open the doors to begin loading. This train features an onboard cab signaling system with five speed limits shown on the aspect display unit. R indicates a restricted speed with a 15 miles per hour speed limit. M indicates a medium speed with a 30 miles per hour speed limit. L indicates a limited speed with a 45 miles per hour speed limit. 60 indicates a 60 miles per hour speed limit. And N indicates that the speed limit is governed by the track speed, which is shown in the digital readout. We are now ready to depart for Bronxville and continue the service. Move the master controller into the power range to start moving. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Before stopping at each station, 
you should sound the horn once on approach. Let's do this now. Proceed to the next stop at Fleetwood. On the way, we will perform a recovery of the emergency brakes. An emergency brake has occurred, and the train is now coming to a stop. Wait for the train to come to a complete stop before attempting to recover the train. Now that the train has stopped, we can perform the necessary steps to recover the train. Next, we will need to charge the brake pipe to at least 90 PSI. Ensure that you do not... Nice job. Now we can continue to Fleetwood. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train.
Welcome to North White Plains Yard. Today you will be taken through the operation of an M7A in Metro North Railroad livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the engineer's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. The master key is used to activate the control desk. This unit has a combined throttle brake handle called a master controller, which needs to be set before beginning the startup procedure. In order to release the brakes, the brake pipe must be fully charged. You can only do this when the master controller is in the max brake position. We are now ready to depart for North White Plains and begin the service. Move the master controller into the power range to start moving. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor speed. Before stopping at each station, you should sound the horn once on approach. Let's do this now. Move the master controller into the braking range to begin to slow down. Nice work. Let's continue the journey to White Plains.
An emergency brake has occurred, and the train is now coming to a stop. Wait for the train to come to a complete stop before attempting to recover the train. Now that the train has stopped, we can perform the necessary steps to recover the train. After an emergency stop, the brake pipe will have been completely discharged, preventing the brakes from being released. To recover the train, we will need to recharge the brake pipe. First, move the master controller into the max brake position. Nice work. Let's continue the journey to White Plains. Proceed to the next stop at Hartsdale unguided and see how you get on.
Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train.